got it now. That's true. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Make <laughs> sure we cut this out. At least it wasn't a quick. Yeah, you got a point there. <laughs> Can't even get those no more. Uh, that's not that's neither here or there. <laughs> that's here and there. <laughs> okay? That's neither here nor there. It's actually here and there. I'm glad to see you be on. <laughs> Everybody here's a court. Wish I had a quarter so I can give it to you so you can put it in your ass because you played yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, we live. What? What's up, people? Welcome to Cutting Up Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Too bad y'all would never know what we laugh about. Yes, you will. <laughs> yeah, welcome. Man, I put that up. Yeah, don't get your boy Frankie B. <laughs> it's me, man, the fuck. <laughs> we cutting up, man. You know what I'm talking about? Got to be more careful. Yeah. <laughs> got to be more careful. Oh, man. Man, man. Welcome back. Oh, man. Welcome back, man. Welcome back. Welcome back. You know? Yeah, it's just, make sure you speak up, because I'm just here. Yeah. Oh man, so uh, from what I noticed, my yeah. laugh is infectious when I'll be editing and posting and I just yeah, you just, <laughs> you just go out there and I'm like, like, man, I walk up like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, like, I got that old man here. I know. <laughs> After I get past the start, it's cool. But it's, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, just go to another level. Yeah, yeah. What I'm talking about. Oh, man. Yeah, man, we cutting up. You know, as you can see, like oh, always, you know. Uh, good talks, good times. You know what I mean? All right. So, uh, I'm going to just start with some O's love because one of our supporters, shout out to, you know, the neighbor. Marty. Oh. Um, yeah, so... Just um, like I said, I'm an arbitrary baseball fan. Um, I really, let me see. I fell out, especially after um, the Orioles let go of Buck Showalter for the, that last good run we had. Um, of course, Ken Griffey's my favorite player of all time. Junior, absolutely, Junior. Oh, senior. So. Uh, <laughs> Just go bypass that like that. <laughs> yes. Nobody's going to get that confused. Nobody's going to get that confused. <laughs> um, but the O's. Yeah. One game away from 500. They, 43 and 44. They started out rough. Um, I know uh, we had two All-Stars, Cedric Mullins and and Trey. And Trey, you know, getting over his, uh, his illness with that, that bout of cancer. And he's balling now, so. I just hope they don't break this team up. Mm -hmm. You know, now that they starting to gel a little bit, you know, because it's getting around to that trade, the trade deadline and everything. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I know they said any players is, is uh, dispendable. You know what I mean? Yeah. So but I just don't want to. You know the way the way this team is starting to play is, you know, it just starting to bring a little bit of hope, excited, yeah. and excited excitement back to, you know, for the O's. You know what I mean? Yeah, they finally got some uh, new prominent people after, you know, they let go of Manny. Uh, then uh, did they know? Well, he got more. Money. Uh, yeah, they. Manny wanted to go anyway. I guess so. he wanted to go to L.A., but yeah. you know, so, he in San Diego. Um, I heard uh, like the pitchers we had that young staff, they all like at least two of the starters, they like Dylan Bundy and. Kevin Gosman. Kevin Gosman, they, they uh, pitching. I seen, uh, who, who I seen uh, pitching, he pitched for the Cubs. I uh, can't think of his name right now. Yeah. But yeah, he. he Not the one, he's recently or the one that won the world? No, 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 no. He's from, he's from here. He's one of, he was one of the. Oh, all right, all right. Yeah. He, he's uh, with the Cubs. He just now pitched against the, uh, the Dodgers the other night. All right. So yeah, and well, um, on an eight-game winning streak right now. 
Yep. Eight game winning streak, longest winning streak since Upper League 2007. And um, um, the Yankees in first place, Dodgers. No, 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 no. The Yankees in first place. I don't know about You know who my, my, but um, low key, like I said, because my just yeah, loose following of baseball, I really like Vlad Guerrero Jr., though. No. I like his, his, just his act. Like, yeah, his, he's got that draw, that, that, that special, like, superstar characteristic. My guy is Tatis Jr. Tatis Jr., I like him too. Um, yeah, it's just it's just bad that they're that good and they're in our division. Like I mean, talking about Black and real good. Yeah. I know Tatis is Same and thing. Padres. Hopefully he get back. You know, because he injured. He's on his way back working from the uh, broken wrist. But yeah, O's. You know, they're making some moves. You know, they're bringing people up from the farm system. You know, you know, actually letting them young guys play. Mm-hmm. You know, I started getting rid of them, you know, because yeah. it, it was times where we're, we're grooming them down in our farm system and then trade them away, and they'll be like, hey, yeah. just, you know, just board them up. Yep. Well, speaking of bringing stuff up, John Morant. <laughs> now, you, like, I. you my guy. Like, yeah, he, you, you definitely supreme talent, but now it's you, just the fact that. All right, so the younger generation of the NBA. Oh, no, I, I think I got to give him the same attention that I gave the guy that said. Oh, 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 yeah, go ahead, go ahead, do you? I got to go sit ahead, up. man, go ahead. You know what I mean? Yeah, you got the. You know, I you got the floor. I understand, young fella. You know, you, you, you're a beast. You're doing your thing. But what have you won? What have you done? We talk about the GOAT. They go. When you mention NBA or basketball, you cannot mention it without mentioning Mike. Michael Jeffrey Jordan. The GOAT. The GOAT. And you saying that y'all you would spank Jordan? Now I'll give Jai this. He'll, he might have an AI moment against Jordan. But even in what? that AI moment when he pushed off, ah. <laughs> I'm sticking to my guns. But it's even in that wax, AI, you know this is, yeah, this I understand, is, understand. So <laughs> you know, but even in, that, even in that AI moment, you don't realize that he oh, gave man. he gave what you call sixty three. Yeah. Hey, that's a, what that game? What well, the sixty three? No. He, he gave he gave what you call the blues? No, sir. Well, I know, I know he definitely torched the 76 no, that, sir. that game, too. He probably had over 40. No, sir! But, yeah, it's... You got to think about all the people that said they was going to do stuff to Mike, and then either he cooked them during the game or in the offseason. This man would show up to training camps like, hey, how you doing? You know, just introduce yourself. And that's how the story... the, the the legendary stories go down, and people challenge Mike one on one, and or he'll call them out because they've been bumping their gums. I mean, and even then, even 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 like you saying, and it's it's with over. The, it's with, with, the, with the Kimbe, you oh know, yeah, you, you never dumped on me. You dumped on that. You didn't. He said I, I didn't. Pet. Gotcha, gotcha. That next game. Like first of all, yeah. I gotta say this because I mean I understand it's an errors. Yeah. It's an errors and everything. But the era that Jordan was in, you said he uh did play against superstars like first of all. That's crazy. <laughs> he yeah. didn't play against superstars like I have today. I understand it might not be like, as, as deep, but the ones he went against. You gotta were think about this. Every, guy. He went against Hall of Famers, starting fives. Whereas the, almost the whole starting five is Hall of Famers. You talking John Stockton, Jeff Hornacek, Brian Russell. You know what I mean? Well, no. Well, let me keep Russell out of there. Uh, Carl Malone. Clyde Drexler. I don't know why people forget about Clyde. Uh, Mitch Richmond. Uh, Tim Hardaway. Tim Hardaway. Chris Mullen. Uh, Reggie Miller. Reggie Miller. Uh, uh, we could keep. We could go. We could go down. Yeah. Patrick Young and all them. You know, it's it's a lot. Not even mentioning, not even mentioning 
you know, the Detroit Bad Boy Pistons. Oh, yeah. You know, Magic Big and Sam. them. Big Sam. Johnson. Big <laughs> Magic and them. Bird, you know what I mean? You know, all them all them teams. You know, Elijah Wan. Like, you got to think about these players that they was playing against. You talking about, um, like, come on now. This is crazy. It's crazy. Like to the point, like you mentioned Steph, when Steph Father couldn't even do nothing in that era against you. Yeah, that like that's that's um Yeah. I mean I don't know if you was doing that for clickbait, you know, just 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 yeah, to bring some attention. I understand you're confident, young fella, you feel me? Like that, that's what I, I'll give. And you're a beast. I'm like, not taking I, nothing from you. The the, the the younger generation, just how the Warriors weren't even playing a ball basketball, turnover city, bad shooting slugs, wasn't gelling, and they still beat y'all four to two. And Ja was there for the game, so it was three one before Ja yeah got bounced. So I don't want to hear if he was there. Or if he was there, um, yeah, it was three one while you were there. And, and um, like Clay said, the the audacity, the audacity and the um, unmitigated gall, the testicular fortitude to y'all to talk to former champs and just disrespect them like y'all was going to send them home to Cancun. Yeah, that, that's when I don't, y'all, y'all got to put things in perspective. We understand Memphis, y'all, y'all, on, the rise. y'all on the rise, y'all climbing. If, but if. Y'all GM don't do nothing stupid. Yeah. Because every exactly. time y'all kind of get on a rise, start doing something, trade a radio, major piece. Or yeah. So, so yeah, this younger generation, for some reason, they don't have that, that respect level. Well, they have supreme confidence, uber confidence. It's kind of, yeah. yeah. Right. And like, like you mentioned, alluding to Ja, undeniable, he's the next generational talent. You know, in that uh, group and other, the new faces of the in the NBA, uh, like you know him, Zion, uh, Giannis, Luca, they the new faces of the NBA after Steph and uh, after Steph and Braun and, and KD. So, um, yeah, I just hope you gotta think about. It. I, I wish I, I Mike wish... was like ten years younger just so he could pull up. I'm trying to tell you, man, and then. You know, like a, a a legendary story that will never be told happens, and my man has nine total all defense, mm-hmm. like ten, like it's nine mm-hmm. all defense team. Yeah. Defensive, uh, uh, was he defensive? Was he defensive? He wasn't defensive the year once, but he probably got it on if he was. Yeah, no, because yes. Yeah. Cause that was defensive the, player of the year. He he won the MVP, defensive player of the year, finals MVP, and the championship all in one year. Come wow. on, come come on, man. Yeah. Come come on, man. So, John, come on. First of all, just I, worry about getting past Steph first. That's come on. That's it. And 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 you talk about like no disrespect, Steph, at all. Cause you know you the you the mm-hmm. goat behind that line. But you talking about somebody that was six six, yeah, yeah. wingspan crazy, mm-hmm. hang time crazy, vertical leap crazy, crazy <laughs> defense crazy, shot like, crazy. Oh, Kyle Hurd said Kyle Kyle Hurd. He was like, oh no, it wasn't Kyle Hurd. Um, well, it was somebody said Michael Jordan. Like we know Ja, you know he got ridiculous bounce, but he's like Michael Jordan's <laughs> bounce. Ranges in between forty and forty-eight. <laughs> Ranges, yeah, forty-two and forty-eight. Like, it's crazy because it's like, it's like and forty-eight, depending on how tall you are and how high he has. It's to like go. he jumped twice and then <laughs> hit the ground. Like, uh, like he, you coming down, but he still yeah. Warm. But oh, how no. you like? It's the levitation factor. Like how you pause in mid-air and you're hanging for literally like five seconds. It seemed like change position. Like, Oh, nah, I ain't gonna. All right, 
Alright, no, no. Alright, this way. Alright, Liam. Alright, come on now. Right. You guys, so, like, like, I want you. I mean, go yeah, back. We're going go. off on that. We, we understand. We just let you talking about Jordan, though. You know, like, yeah. you can't. You can't call out Jordan when mm. you can't even beat Brian. Mm. That's debatable. We'll that's, see. Yeah, we'll, that's debatable. Man. We'll see. Yeah. So you said Jack can beat Brian in his prime? Prime Brian. No. no. Prime Brian. <laughs> like, come on now. Prime Brian? Mm -mm. They having trouble with old Brian. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'm. Like, come on now. Yeah, so, nah. Prime Cole. Yeah. Any of them, and them. I say it, he can't. Right now, his challenge is getting past Steph and Luka. <laughs> you got to get past them. Hey, yeah. Come on now. <laughs> but um, I, I definitely love the, uh, I like you said, self-confidence. Yeah, you my dog, but come on. Let's tone it down a little bit. I, we went off on John a little bit, but. Now you went off. Not, yeah, not, 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 not more than I'm about to go off on the NBA for bringing up these summer league yeah. uh, championship rings. Like, what You're are we doing? Out practice squad rings. Now? What are we doing? Yeah, that's that's. You know who won the summer league last year? Absolutely not. Sacramento Kings. Wow. <laughs> what? <happened? laughs> like, come on now. Who they play the magic? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Possibly. Man, that, yeah, that's wild. Though. Since, since the summer league started mm -hmm. back in 2013, right? Only two champions of the summer league, like two teams mm -hmm. that won the, cha uh, the summer league championship, has won actually NBA ranks mm -hmm. since it started. Two. And you know the two. Mm. At least you should know the two. Mm. Golden State and the Lakers. Lakers. I, I was going to say that's Lakers. it. I knew the Lakers was one. I was I was skeptical about Golden State, but of course, why not? <laughs> that's it. Oh, yeah. And you getting like rings? Oh man! Like so, that's what that's what we that's what we doing. Yeah. So it, it's going to be interesting. But this, Participation, uh, yeah, but yeah, like I said, practice squad trophies. Uh, so some of them will never see a ring mm. if they even make the league. Yeah, that's and I, yeah, I, but I, I don't know what, like, I guess it gives them more the uh, the prospects more attention or confidence to like, kinda, yeah, uh, incentive to play harder and. Yeah, kind of. You know, I mean, it's give them some. It's just like pick up ball. It's glorified yeah. pick up ball. But and I'm not against the summer league. You know, no, no, nah, they need to develop. But yeah. But Scotty Pippen Jr. And, and, and Sharif boy, them boys is going off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They going off. And um, or was I? It might have been uh, a mishearing of me. Like, didn't Antoine Edwards get in the run and just like destroy a game? He better not hit. Uh, Anthony Edwards. Yeah. He better not hit. I thought I thought I heard. No, I know Wiseman just went off. Oh yeah. <laughs> Wiseman just went off last night. He was, he shouldn't even play. <laughs> right. Like he just re all right, let me see if I still go. That's, that's crazy. That like, man's a champ and it didn't it didn't it, not, they do, that's the scare. This is this is the upcoming challenge for the rest of the West. Like and, 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 and it's crazy because they talking about him Kaminga. And, and Jordan Poole, those are the next three off the but bench. That's the thing, though. They talk about trading Kaminga, Jordan Poole. Don't say for Kate. It's not Wiseman. KD uh, is like, not. Why would you trade your future? Like for they said, KD? it was just a fantasy. Like it was a con conception. It was just a thought. Like if the Warriors were to make the trade, they didn't even put in a proposal. But they said the. Uh, like I said, the conceptual uh, players you would have to give up or compensatory picks that you would have to get to acquire KD again, which, like Steph said, yeah, I think we're good here. Yeah. It's like, you know, KD, that's my boy, but uh, we're all right. We're good. 
Number five on the way. <laughs> That's all I got to say. They got number five on the way. Right? Yeah. And like, I, I mean, I, I, they, they, I, like, you got to give up too much for them because I thought about just the, um, and, and, and just the uh, dealing with, like, my sons. Like, we would have to give up Bridges, like McCall Bridges, Cam. Cam and, uh, and, and Aiden. Aiden. And, and draft picks. Yeah, and draft picks. So it was like. For what? One player? And I and just probably look, one, I mean, they probably win. Because mm -hmm. CP3. But, I mean, who else you had? You gave up your main pieces with it. And KD. Like, well, those three, Ham, Harden, and Kyrie, they decimated all the young talent that was in uh, Brooklyn. Y'all got rid of Karras, Bird, Ben Whitty. Jared Allen. They had the squad. Oh man. They, they already had the squad. Yeah. That's like that's like he so, say K D say I want I, I, I want yeah. I wanna go to Miami, but you gotta keep Kyle Lowry, Jimmy Buckets and uh uh I thought it was Bam. Kyle Lowry was No, it was it was Kyle Lowry, Jimmy Buckets and Bam. Bam. Uh -huh. You gotta keep them. Like, first of all, Two of them gotta go just to get you. Kyle, you can go anywhere. Yeah, Kyle's out there. But you won't give him Tyler. Gonna do like you won't give him Tyler Hero. Hey Kyle, get your chunky stuff. You won't give him Tyler him. Hero, Duncan Robinson. Yeah. All your key pieces that you know what I mean, like why? And and um, And then lose. And then Benson the backup, he can be he can be the Mario Chalmers of that squad. Don't don't get your Mario Chalmers. What? What's your problem with Mario? He ain't nothing but another Kyle Lowry. <laughs> What's your problem? He was, he he was what? Cook Kyle. He was cooking. Cook, 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 seven points a piece. He was cook Kyle. Talk about man. Mario Chalmers. Get him out of here. Yeah, because of Brian and him. That's enough. I ain't gonna. I'm gonna leave you alone. You keep on look. That folder keep coming open. Like I'm, I'm gonna leave it alone. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, man. Anything? Uh, oh, what's this? Ah, oh, man. Huh? You see that? Why well, you? You should mention that. Um, Waterboy Barber Expo, August seventh. We'll be in the building. Uh. 12 to 6 Martin's West. Mm -hmm. um, you know, just Google it. Posted by my man Vernon Dawson. And, uh, yeah, I, I don't know if you know, but, yeah, hey, I think I mentioned it in a previous promo. So, uh, one of the barbers is basically the go to guy for NBA TNT, yeah. Grant Hill, Jalen Rose. You wonder who is shape up, uh, who, who gets him right. He'll be at the Baltimore Barber as well. My man Hawk, the Barber Prodigy, will be in the building. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be cutting up. And we're yeah. going to be cutting up. We're going to be cutting up. But you know, we'll get, we'll, Hawk's going to be on cutting up. I'm just putting it out there. You know, I have a, um, if you, y'all do a deep dive of earlier events out there. He's on um, one of the first Barber Expos I went to in D.C. Got a cool little uh, quick five. Five, yeah, about five minutes. A little, little uh, quick chop up session. Yeah, and he's a Bengals fan. Who has some fun? <laughs> Who has some fun? Yeah, he's my man from Cincinnati. Uh, moved to Atlanta, but yeah, he's a Bengals fan. So. Yeah, so we got some things coming up, you know, big things, big moves, you know. You know? Um. But uh, we're going to go ahead and jump into some what happened at work today with the GOAT himself, Eman yeah. Buck. Yeah. Oh, before I go, go into that, um, shout out to uh, one of our collabs, a uh, friend of the pod, my man Mike Thompson of OBT Social. Oh, yeah, of course. We're promoting OBT Social. So um, basically, it's a, it's a black enterprise movement that's going on and I'm just glad that I met this dude real low key if you ever met him 
He's one of them solid movers and shakers. He's got his hands in a little bit of everything. We gonna have him and on. And it's uh, yeah, everything's coming together. I'm not even gonna. I'll let him tell it. So when we get him on, he'll be at the events too. He'll be part of the uh, cutting up crew at, at the uh, Baltimore Barber Expo. Yes, sir. So um, if y'all haven't done, go to your uh, you know uh, App Store. iPhone App Store or Google Play. Yeah. Download OBT Social. It's definitely it's definitely hit. It's a movement. Yep. Um. So uh, what happened at work today? <laughs> Story time. With you, man. Let's go. Let's go. So it's always been a belief of mine that people who are of the the alphabet community. Always have that that urge, instinctive uh -huh. urge for the opposite sex. You know, it just takes them to run across the right person. The right person, yeah. So um, this is the time where one of my clients, who was a female, ran across that right view. So um, uh, let's call her. <laughs> <laughs> you are. Man, I ain't even started yet. You Cause, just like, dribbling. Cause, yeah, it's funny, right? It's, I'm sorry. It's funny because, like, they say they don't like it, but never rode the roller coaster. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, <laughs> oh, no, but she's rolling. No, I'm just coaster. saying. Yeah, like, it's, but it's just been a minute. Yeah, it's been a minute before she bought a ticket. Yeah, 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 you know what I mean? So, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, anybody that, like, whether it be a male, that's, um, gay or a female that gay it's always like that that one female or male that they run across where it's like ooh yeah. that that Ping. that that, that, instant instant that kick yeah kick. that that natural attraction like oh yeah I know I got a you know a girlfriend a boyfriend you know I know I'm rolling with John but Jenny oh. is, Jenny is a that thing dang it you know uh -huh. so yeah um so let's say we're gonna call I like the name Tasha. We'll call it Tasha. 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 Young Tasha. Got a whole girlfriend <laughs> in the uh, medical field. And so uh Tasha her. ran across John. <laughs> nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we got cause he he uh my who Dexter, cause they always say uh, somebody from the island, oh, Dexter, Dollaria. Oh, uh, uh. Fellas, have you ever took your old lady to the resort in Jamaica? You ever done? Don't, hey, be careful. Look, because them dudes that work at the resort in Jamaica, them niggas always be starting with a D. That's mine, Dexter, Darius, niggas always. <laughs> Deontay, Devontae, DeAndre. I am help you. My name is That's mine. Oh. Uh, uh, boy. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, Dexter, you know, she uh. ran across Dexter at work. And the medical field, yeah, you know, uh huh. Uh -huh. I got so you. A little kid is, uh, you know, they're, they're nursing the uh, credibilities up. So uh, one day, Dexter see see Tasha. And Tasha, she look at him and like, all right, that's nice, nice to meet you. I'm like, yeah. So um, uh, Tasha, like Miss Tasha, because you know she's she's older, she's older. a little bit older. Like Miss Tasha, you know, um, I don't know if anybody told you, but you know, you're really attractive. She's like, oh, thank you, young man. Young man. <laughs> you know, put that young man in there strong. And uh, so, you know, that's the first interaction. Then she's like, uh, maybe a couple of days later, so he asked her out for lunch. She's like, yeah, I'm good. No, I'm you know, you, see, you know, what I mean? you she can hold on to that. that. But she ain't tell him that yet until a man was. Uh, Putting the persistence on, so that's when she finally was like, "Yeah, so uh, Dex, let me highlight you. You know, you you cool dude, but um, yeah, you know, I like what you like." Whoa! Oh! Whoa! Thank you for the compliments, but yeah, I'm good, man. So Dex is like, "Oh, no problem, you know." But what's the what's the famous line? Can we just be friends? Ah. That's it right there. You know, can we just, you know, keep it cordial? Work, work friends. friends. You know, 
Hang out, but I'm not saying that's what he said verbatim, but that's the you know general well, we belief. Keep, we you know, keep, we, we keep, keep, I'm just be friends. Oh, I understand, I understand you got that. That's no problem. I All respect right. that. You know, I understand that. So, um, so when Tasha comes, she 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 gets her hair cut, and she's like, "Yeah, so E man, you gonna believe it? I don't know what's in the water. Your girl is your girl is 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 a." Uh, she a thirst trap, whole thirst trap out here, you know, for the young dudes. I'm like, really? Now, um, she usually comes and she looks like a retired library <laughs> person. Yeah, Miss Tasha, she she usually comes in like like I said, she looks like she works at the library and got the loose loose mm. jeans, khakis, mm. whatever. And it looks like she sell incense on the side at the library. <laughs> <laughs> so she, she she usually got a loose fitting shirt, but um, she been in the gym since quarantine and stuff. But so she got a nice figure in my life. Low key, I ain't even gonna lie. Like she caught me off guard because she came in the gym clothes and I'm like, oh, she got a. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, absolutely. Um, she's PTT on it. Um, poking that thing out. Mm -hmm. All right, I see you, fam. Congratulations. I used to call it like, well, I can't say a real name, but I used to be like, all right, Slim, you know, because I see the work, see the progress, slimming out the curves, curving. Mm -hmm. I'm like, all right, Miss Tasha, I'll see you getting right. Who you getting right for? You know? Mm -hmm. So, um, of course, Dexter noticed too, so. Um, she told me that, and then she was like, yeah, so I, I don't know what it is because I told him my age, I told him I like girls, I told him not interested, but he still persisted. But what she did tell me is that she was suppressing it because she's like, when I seen him and he kept on, you know, complimenting me and just making me laugh, waterfalls. <laughs> 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 she's like, hey, she's like, hey. One time I had to change my scrubs. I was like, wow, all right. So I was like, all right. So everybody usually gets their haircuts two weeks in between cuts. Next up, like, like I said, because she usually dresses like loose fit and mm -hmm. stuff, free form stuff, mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, uh, like book club stuff. Of course, not too revealing. Well, next just next time I know, she comes in, she comes in with the leggings, got on the crop top, wow. got the toe rings on, you know, uh, little, nah, she never wears makeup, but jewelry, like little, little, little accents on the I thought it was a little. I said, this is in two weeks from when she sold them not interested. Mm -hmm. So it had to be a setup. I was like, oh, all right. So, Cutting hands on him, like, we just talked in general, and I was like, so, um, uh, how's the man Dex have? How, how, how's the uh, things with Dex? And she was like, oh, <laughs> you know, me and Dex, they're cool. And I was like, all right, you, you take his lunch? Or did he get a chance to take you out to lunch? <laughs> he took me out for more than that. <gasps> hmm, is that right? I said, huh? What she mean? She just giggled on the side, <laughs> you know? Had the little, mm -hmm. <laughs> little giddy. <laughs> I was mm -hmm. like, all right. Hold up. I was like, what you saying? You know what I mean? He's like, hey, how I got to say it. <laughs> Food wasn't the only thing on the menu. <laughs> <laughs> he ate lunch. <laughs> but that's not the only lunch he ate. So I was like, hold up. Wait a minute. I was like, how? Tasha, how? No. She was like, he got me. Mine is your one for me to put my pee-pee in your pom pom like nigga. If you don't get that sweet potato out of my girl face, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna shoot you right in your head, rap Desmond. And niggas. I'm like, hold up, it's been two weeks. She's like, yeah. Uh, dude, nice. Like, yeah, dude, nice. 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 Hey, and girls, go after what you want. Oh, yeah, that. Um, 
not all the time, you know, some signs just have. Yeah, back yeah, up. Yeah. I don't know. But for the most part, if they keep on, you know, letting the vet, if they keep on uh, giving room for advancement, you know, take that extra step, step out on faith. So Dex, that's what he did. So she was like, all right, so you remember when I told you when I wasn't into him? She was like, yeah, so I wasn't, but my body told me I was. Mm -hmm. She's like, mentally I was, no, so I'm she not was going there. She, she was body like, was like, yes, girl, you were in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, my mind's telling you, but my, my body. <laughs> All the way green, all systems go. My man, that so like I don't know. Like it has to be, it has to be something to get to that point. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like a, whatever the talk and the persistence, whatever he was telling her, mm -hmm. and you know, uh, a way to a woman's heart. Like okay. if he can make them laugh, and compliments make them feel good. You in there? That's half the battle. So she was like, um, "So <laughs> after, I guess they went out to lunch or whatever." She's like, uh, "They were getting off late one night," and he's like, "Can I uh, drop you off to your car? Cause it's late at night. I don't want you walk by yourself." She's like, "It's like that's no. I usually get security to take me. You good? You you can go ahead. I'm good." She's like, and in my mind, she's like, girl, you get in this car with this boy. It's over. It's over. So the security was about to come. She's like, well, they are taking a little while. Fine. You can drop me off in my car. No problem. And, oh, by the way, I didn't tell Dex, he actually has a whole girlfriend, too. <laughs> so this is like a work work romance work uh, 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 yeah. uh, affair, right? So I was like, man. So you got a girlfriend, he got a boy, he got a girl. <laughs> Y'all both, right. both got girlfriends. <laughs> he's like, still pressing up on you. Like, I don't know what it is about me right now, but I'm hot. I'm hot right now. <laughs> oh man. He got it. So drive her off, about to drop her off to the car. They stop. And she said. I don't even know what happened next. All I know is. Like, but all I gotta say is, Dexter hit all the right spots. So I was like, man, he turned you on like that. Turned you out. Man, she's like, brought you back to the home team. She's like, I don't know what to call it. She's like, I know I got a girl, but I just told him, like, anytime he wants it, I'm gonna tell him. Turned herself in a whole side chick. I'm like, come on, Miss Miss Tasha. She's like, hey, the body wants what the body wants. Yeah. So yeah, hey, man, it's it's funny. And then the last thing I know, I told her, like, so I'm like, do you still call him young man? She's like, no, I call him Dex. I call him. Dex. <laughs> <laughs> I call him by his name. <laughs> Put some respect on my name. Man. <laughs> Oh yeah, young Dex took from one home. <laughs> Late in the game. My man, try to pray and got it. <laughs> I'm a fan. <laughs> I'm a fan. <laughs> uh, see what happens. Mm. See what happens when you put that rock time in the cut and get the bubbling, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, man. So yeah. Yeah, okay. hey, you so you can claim to be gay all you want. It's, it's always that one. Always that. Bro, well, so it's another episode. Cutting up. You know, it's your boy Frankie B. E Man the Barber. Um, yeah, man. We cutting up. Stay tuned you know, for more. And uh, like, share, subscribe, comment. Um, you know, hit that little bell on there. Yeah, and tell Frank to get on the, on the, on the, on our uh, yeah, IG page. Yeah, yeah, you know, man. I've been slipping, you know, going. Little, little stuff, you know, got little personal things, but you know, we good. We cutting up, baby. We cutting up. We out.